The music industry has been rattled the last few years as several high-profile rappers have landed themselves behind bars, and for some of them, they may never come out. Here are five rappers who are currently in jail, what they're in there for, and what their futures may hold. K. Flock had a meteoric rise to fame, only to quickly end up on the wrong side of the law. Flock was a relative newcomer to the rap game and initially was just a hype man for his friends Dougie B and B Lovey. But when he took the mic in 2020, his abilities were undeniable. Practically overnight, Flock began to dominate the Bronx drill scene while racking up millions of views and hits like Being Honest and Is You Ready. But in 2021, he got caught up in a deadly situation that might keep him in jail for the rest of his life. On December 16th, Flock walked by a barbershop when a man named Oscar Hernandez stepped out of the shop and followed him. Flock would later pull out a gun and take the man's life, claiming he was in danger and acting in self-defense. He's been in jail ever since. Things appeared to be looking up for K. Flock last March when he reassured his fans with an IG photo and the message, all is good, don't believe the blogs or the internet, everything's trendy. However, things seemed to take a turn for the worse last month when Flock was indicted on RICO charges by a federal grand jury, which combined with his existing first-degree murder charge, makes life in prison more and more likely. But Flock's lawyer, Jeffrey Lichman, believes they have a good chance to beat the charges and is prepared to go to war for the young rapper. Lichman is one of the most famous criminal defense lawyers in the world, and his long list of clients includes rappers The Game and Fat Joe, and even the famous drug lord, El Chapo. <laughs> Up next, we have Tory Lanez. Lanez is a 30 year old Grammy nominated rapper with a long list of hits and gold records to his name, but will always be linked to Meg Thee Stallion. This past December, Lane stood trial for three gun charges stemming from the 2020 incident. After an intense two weeks, he was found guilty on all three charges, including assault with a semi automatic handgun. This case will almost certainly go down as one of the most high profile cases of all time due to the popularity of the two parties involved and the years of public drama that preceded it. Since his December 23rd conviction, Lanes has been held without bond at a men's central jail in LA and is facing 23 years in prison and deportation to Canada. His sentencing has been delayed to April 10th in the wake of Lane switching attorneys following his conviction. Currently, his new lawyer is attempting to file a motion for a new trial, which obviously would postpone his sentencing date. No determination has been made yet, but if the motion is denied, Lane's sentencing will move forward as planned. Lane's himself hasn't spoke out about the trial, but DJ Academics has said he believes Tory will attempt to exhaust every possibility to try to lessen his time. AK also believes that while he could avoid serious jail time, he doesn't think a new trial is in the cards for him. Now, as far as the prison situation goes, Lane seems to have landed in a good spot. During Christmas, TMZ got inside info on what the LA Sheriff's Department cooked up for the inmates, and it didn't sound half bad. Reportedly, the corrections facility served a feast that included roast turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy, cranberry sauce, green <laughs> cheese, good, tossed right? green salad, a dinner roll, a pumpkin muffin, and chocolate milk. Hot Boy has a number of hot tracks to his name, but he'll forever be linked to his infamous and deadly beef with former friend Glock9 and Glock's crew. The two sides have been feuding and causing havoc in the streets of Orlando for years, with both groups losing friends to this senseless violence. Glock9 himself was nearly one of those victims in 2020, but survived an attempt on his life in a mall parking lot. As things between the two crews continued to worsen, the police were forced to take action and launched a special 34-man RICO investigation dubbed Operation X Force. After nine months of investigating, the cops gathered enough evidence of the two groups smuggling guns, drugs, and money into Orlando to bring them down. Unlike a lot of other guys on this list, Hot Boy was originally released on bond, but it was later revoked when he was caught with a firearm. Hot Boy's lawyer was able to get the gun charge dropped, but if convicted, his remaining charges could lock him up for up to 32 years. Meanwhile, Glock 9 has already been sentenced to seven years of prison for identity theft and a weapons charge after he allegedly stole someone's identity and used it to get a COVID-19 PPP loan worth $10,000. This, of course, is on top of the looming charges for second-degree murder and racketeering which could add major time to his sentence. Last but not least, we have YNW Melly. Melly. Melly first started posting raps to SoundCloud in 2015, but didn't launch the hip-hop collective YNW with his friends YNW Juvie, YNW Portland, and YNW Sack Chaser until the following year. Melly first rose to prominence in 2018 thanks to the insanely popular melody of Murder On My Mind, which went on to become one of the most recognizable sounds of the 2010s. Unfortunately, based on what he's been accused of, it seems like that song was more than just a fire track. Shortly after rising to fame, YNW 
A&W Portland dropped Juvie and Sack Chaser off at the hospital, claiming that they were shot in a drive-by. But upon further review from the cops, it became clear that the facts of the story and the evidence didn't add up. The feds deduced that Melly and Portland staged the whole thing, and Melly was in fact the trigger man. Melly was quickly sent to jail in 2019 without bond, and he's been there ever since, awaiting trial. Unlike Tory Lanez, Melly's time behind bars has been anything but smooth. Starting in 2020, Melly lost his recreation and visiting rights and had to spend time in solitary confinement. Then this past April, Melly and his lawyers were accused of attempting to orchestrate a prison break. The sheriff's office alleged that Melly and another inmate planned on escaping by having his lawyer sneak them to handcuff keys. When the jail found out, they searched the other guy's cell, and while they didn't find any keys, they did find several suspicious and dangerous items, including a six-inch shank, a few razor blades, two lighters, and some pills. Naturally, Melly caught more charges for this escape plan, despite already facing life in prison. The latest news from the Melly camp came this past August when his lawyer requested that they let him out of jail to get some much-needed dental work done. Melly has permanent grills which require a lot of maintenance and obviously he's been unable to tend them properly. His lawyers claim that Melly has an abscess in his jaw, extreme pain, and chronic infection as a result. But given the severity of his alleged crimes, it's no surprise the judge turned down the request. While his trial is yet to start, the 23-year-old's lawyers have plenty to keep them busy. They proactively launched an appeal to the Florida Supreme Court. Damn, yo. Ah, damn, damn, yo. Sheesh. It seems like things are not looking too well for your favorite rappers, yo. I don't know what else to say right now. Like, like damn. Imagine getting a death penalty, penalty yo. I just hope uh, why, why N.W. Melly does not get a death penalty because that's just that's crazy. Wow. Wow. Damn. Tory Lanez, Kate Flock, like, yo, but like, if you live in Bronx, you know, like, Bronx has been known for, like, wars and battles, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, so, like, someone following Kate, Fl Kate Flock, like, you know, like, it's just, like, it's just crazy because, like, obviously, like, I won't, like, it's just, it's just, like, a self-defense. I'm not saying, like, it's, a, it's the right things to do, but I'm just saying, like, if you live in Bronx, and especially if we're, we're certain gangs or certain blocks, if someone's literally stalking you from the barbershop, just following you, like, obviously you're gonna do something, you're gonna react to a certain way, because like, you don't know what else could happen next. The person could just like, might just want, might want to put the trigger, you know what I'm saying? But obviously KF Clark just like, put the trigger for like self-defense, because you don't know what the person, the other guy can do to him. So like, it's crazy y'all, damn. So I appreciate you all one more time for making this far. Please smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. If you haven't checked out my previous video, please do check the left one or the right one, whichever one you prefer. And that's the end of the video. Let's get it. You.